Hello, welcome to my studio. I'm Sean Wallace, and I hope you're here because you're excited about the speedy finish of this painting. If you are, then sit tight because it's going to go fast. So to start off the finishing of this painting, I'm tackling the prickly pear bush that is in the front right corner of the painting. I'm doing this because it's one of the more detailed objects in the painting and I usually like to tackle those right off the bat. Now I begin working in the center of interest for my painting. What this painting is really about is this cliff and the light that shines um, onto one side of it, giving it that dramatic feel and that dramatic western scene. I start with a brush, um, refining shapes from my original drawing and getting in some more accurate color, and then I will come through and finish with the knife. So here I'm working with the knife to get texture and to get marbled color in on these cliffs. Um, it works really well on cliffs like this because the marbled paint resembles the marbling that you'd find in nature on the formation of rocks. And I think it's kind of cool how my knife just looks like it's vibrating because it's going so fast. I wish I could paint this fast in real life. It almost looks like I'm frosting a cake. And just so you know, that is not a bald spot on my head. It is, in fact, my bed head.
And I start with my shadow or my darker colors, and then I just build on top from there using a very light touch with the knife and dragging that paint over. Um, and it gives a leafy quality to the bush uh, and also a lot of really fun texture. And I decided to expand the rocks and rocky foreground here. Um, I thought that it gave a place for you to rest in this foreground, which was important. Um, where in the photo it's all just scrub, uh, desert uh, plants. Um, but putting these rocks in is something that I did in the thumbnail sketch, and then I just kind of expanded them here in the actual painting. I feel like they give you a nice place to rest your eye in the foreground of the painting so you're not just overwhelmed with a wall of greenery.
Well, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed watching me paint this. Um, I hope it wasn't too fast for you. If you have any questions at all, please comment. Uh, for a list of my materials, you can check out one of my other videos. And also for tips on painting with the knife, as you saw me finish this painting with the knife, you can also check out my video on knife painting. It's been fun. Thanks.